my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by today because today we're going to be making another really fun project. Last week we did a very detailed large piece, so this week I thought I'd bring it down a little bit and we could do something just kind of small and cute. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a plush moth. Anyways, let's get started. Okay guys, the first thing we're going to start on is cutting out all of our pieces for the moth. For the wings, I made two simple patterns, one for the larger top wing and one for the smaller bottom wing. I used this pattern on some felt that I wanted to work with and I cut out the shapes. And then to make the body of the moth, I also used two patterns for this as well. I have a large oval for the abdomen of the moth, and then I have a rough circle for the thorax of the moth. For these, I'm going to be using a fur fabric for them. And then for the legs, I used a ruler to draw out a couple strips of fabric. You'll need six. So the first sewing that I did was I sewed the oval for the abdomen and then the circle for the thorax. So I put those together and I just sewed down the sides. After sewing those, I used my scissors to make a nice slit. This is where we're going to attach the wings later. So it's basically opening up the body of the moth so it's easier to work with. So now we're going to take the abdomen and the thorax and we're going to sew them together. Now I'm going to move on to making the wire frame for our moth. This part's really simple. I'm going to be using one piece of wire to help the moth hold its shape. So I'm going to have a strip of wire going from where the head's going to be down the abdomen. Now for the legs, you have six of them, but you only need three wires. The reasoning for this is each wire is going to be two legs. So you're going to measure and double the measurement of the fabric you have for the legs. And then the three wires you have, you're going to wrap together and make into a little frame. Now for putting the legs together, we're going to leave it really simple. I'm going to use my hot glue gun and we're going to dab a little bit of hot glue on the end of each wire. And we're going to connect the fabric to that tip. And then we're going to take our needle and thread and we're going to sew down the length, closing the fabric off around the wire. Now on to the clay pieces. We're only going to be having one clay piece for the moth, and that's going to be the head. To make the head, we're going to take a ball of clay and we're going to put it on the end of a wooden dowel. That way it's easy to handle while we're sculpting it. The facial features for this moth are going to be really simple. I mainly want some eyes and a mouth for him. So for the eyes, I'm going to take two smaller balls and we're going to press those in where we want them. Now a moth does not have eyelids, so we don't need to add them. So what I'm going to do is just use one of my tools to smooth the edges to where the eye starts and the face begins. And for the mouth of the moth, we're just going to take two strips of clay and we're going to put that where we want the mouth and I'm going to use a nice pointed tool to make them kind of furry looking. Now the last little detail I'm going to add to the face is a spot for us to put the antennae later. So I'm going to put two little balls on the top of the head and flatten them out and then I'm going to use my needle tool to push in to make a spot for us to attach the antennae later. When we're done sculpting our face, we're going to pop it off of the wooden dowel and we're going to put this in the oven at 275 Fahrenheit for probably about 30 to 35 minutes. Once it's out of the oven, we're going to take our hot glue gun and we're going to put it at the end of the wire that we're going to use for the frame. This will help us hold it also, kind of like the wooden dowel, while we paint it. Now you can tell from the fabric that I was cutting out that this moth is going to be a blue moth, so I'm going to primer the face with a blue paint. To help the mouth of the moth stand out, I used a kind of lighter teal color to paint that. And then I'm going to go over it later with some white highlights. For the eyes, I used a darker blue to have them really pop. Now 
And then for some fun, I added some dots on the top of the forehead for some decoration. Now that we're done with the clay, we have all of our pieces laid out and we're ready to put our moth together. First thing we're going to do is take the body of the moth and use our scissors to make two little slits so we can have our legs pop through and we're going to glue those into place. For the wings, we're going to take our hot glue and we're going to overlap the smaller wings on top of the larger wings. After the wings have cooled, we're going to glue them onto a piece of fabric, that way they're connected. Now back to the body of the moth, we're going to take our head with the little wire, we're going to run the wire down the body of the moth, and we're going to glue the fabric around the head. And then lastly, to attach our wings, we're going to put our glue on the seam of the fabric, and we're going to push our wings into place. And then for our last little detail, we're going to make the antennae. To do this, I just used felt and I cut out a simple feather-like shape. To attach them, I used Elmer's glue. I just put a little dab over the little holes that we have for the antennae. And then I used one of my clay needle tools to help push the felt into the holes. And then we're just gonna leave this to dry. Okay guys, and that's how you make a plush moth. As you can see, I got my blue one over there that I showed you how to make. I also got a green and a pink one that I made. All three of these are gonna be in my Etsy shop. I have a 30% off sale going on right now until the end of Christmas, so make sure to check the links down below if you wanna buy any of them. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, leave me a like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!